I'm so excited for this cheap versus expensive because it's either you love or you hate these sneakers. These are the Golden Goose Superstar sneakers. They're the ones that already come scuffed. They kind of look already worn in and they cost a pretty hefty penny. These ones I picked up were the white and black. These retail for $445 US. And I picked it up in a size Italian 37, which is a US size seven. And then I got the dupes from the brand Sheaton. It's a very budget friendly, very cheap items. They do a lot of dupe type products. Sometimes you can find some pretty cool stuff on there. I got two dupes because they were super inexpensive. So let's start off first with the Golden Goose. Like I said, I got these for $445. I wanted to compare and see what's going on here. And I've never really been into those worn in type of sneaker look. I think the trend is kind of cool, but it's definitely not for everybody. So these right here are those type of sneakers that like I said, had that lived in look. They have the smudging throughout, kind of like the buffed look. And I know this is definitely not everybody's cup of tea, but these type of sneakers I actually really liked. That's why I wanted to pick these up and kind of compare the cheap versus expensive for you guys and just see why <laughs> they're 445 US dollars. And right away, when I took them out of the box, I looked at the scuffs and they actually look kind of like someone wore them, but they still look brand new, if that makes any sense. I did get a size Italian 37, which is a US size seven, and they do fit true to size. When I first put them on, because the laces were so tight, it's kind of like a slip on sneaker. They did feel a little bit tight, I did loosen up the laces a little bit because I wanted to wear these as sneakers instead of just slip-ons and they do stretch out really nicely because they are real leather and they kind of conform to your feet. And like I said, they are true to size. Right here you have the white leather, then you have the gray laces and then you have the really nice suede star logo. You have silver hardware and then the tongue is perforated with their logo. And then you have in the back, you have a nice black leather. It's padded, which is really nice. And then you have their embossed logo on the back as well. And you have a little bit of the gray suede happening on the back as well. And then you have the side, which is kind of like this off color tan. And then you have the rubber sole, which is also a nice tan color. So the one thing I do want to mention also, it's not a flat shoe. It's not one of those converse type of shoes. So you are going to have a little bit of a heel on your heel. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit elevated. You can actually feel it when you put your hands. It kind of starts right here and it kind of goes a little bit higher. So it does create a little bit of an elevation when you do walk. And I think it's really flattering. The quality of these shoes, when I just took them out of the box, I I was kind of blown away because I figured that they're already scuffed. They're gonna look really worn. They're gonna look old. They're not gonna look as nice. You take them out of the box and it still looks very fresh, but worn in with a lot of love and care. It looks like somebody owned these for a long time, but took care of them very, very well. Obviously not because they are brand new shoes, but they do look worn in. That's I think the really cool part. The thing is there are literally no glue lines. The stitching is very beautiful. It's minimal. All of the little details on this, immaculate. And the one thing with this shoe, you can also really tighten the laces and that way you can have the laces kind of on the inside. You don't have to tie, you kind of like a slip on sneaker or you can do it like I did, loosen up the laces a little bit and wear it as a sneaker, just tie it up. So overall, the quality of the shoes is really, really nice. I would hope so because it is a very pricey sneaker, especially for the kind of that worn in look. They obviously do have brand new shoes without the scuff marks, but I kind of wanted to go for this because I just wanted to see what they look like in person. And I was kind of surprised and shocked at how well the quality of the shoe is. I think the shoe is very trendy. Honestly, just try out the dupes. There are some really good ones. So let's move on to the dupes. So the first pair, I wanted to obviously get a white pair to compare to the original ones. So this shoe right here retails for 30 US dollars. This is the name that it has from their store, Star Patch Lace Up Splice sneakers. The material is a poly blend, the sides and the sole is rubber, which is really nice. Let's see if they fit me. That's the true test right here. Like I said, I got a US 37. They fit, but they're very tight. My toe is right up right there. I definitely get half a size to a full size bigger just because these are poly blend. They're not leather, so they're not gonna stretch out very well with your feet. So if you are gonna try to get a pair of these, definitely get half a size to a full size larger than your shoe size. <laughs> they do run a little bit small. These ones are cute. They have the very similar colorway. So you have the white, the black little padded collar in the back. You have the little suede star. You have a little suede little detail on the back as well. And then you have the gray, kind of like off 
beigey gray laces, which are actually very beautiful. But then you start looking at the shoe and you start looking at the scuff marks. You start looking at the worn in details as you would on the golden goose. And it's completely different. This one looks like somebody just took maybe something, something black and just kind of rubbed it on the sides on the rubber. Looks like they just took I don't even know what they did here. It doesn't look worn in. It looks like somebody went and just dirtied the shoe up in random places. But the thing is, they're super cute. There are a lot of differences here, but I think if you're looking for this type of style shoe, I think you'll really enjoy this. But overall, for $30, I am not mad at all. All right, so look at these one-to-one. -one. I have the golden goose and then the dupe right here. The dupe looks so much smaller. It's a very small profile. It's very narrow compared to the golden goose. So they both have rounded toes, which is really nice. And then you have the little holes, the perforated holes, the three holes on the side, which is very similar on both sides. The star is obviously bigger and it's in suede on the golden goose. And then the black, which looks very similar. Obviously this one doesn't have any branding or logoing on the shoe because that would be stealing and illegal. <laughs> the golden goose are a little bit heavier, but they're still very lightweight compared to the dupes. These, these feel like air. These are very lightweight. And of course, look at the scuff marks. Like I said, these look like you've been wearing them for a very long period of time, but you took very well care of them. And then these, they look like they were trying to make them dirty, but they failed, but they're still very cute. Let's move on to the second colorway because they're pretty much the same shoe, just different colors. I really like this color. So these ones retailed for $28, a couple dollars less, which is still an amazing price. And I got these in the color khaki. And supposedly this is suede. This is what it said with material, suede. So I'm not sure if it's faux suede or if it's actual suede. Then you have rubber on the side, then you have a rubber sole, again, white on white and then you have like that black scuffing throughout again and you have the nice black star on the side this shoe the quality it looks pretty bad compared to this white pair when you when i took it out you could see the glue lines everywhere the entire shoe the glue line is horrible i was pretty disappointed with this pair just because this material i don't think it will withstand mud dirt or even water i think it will fall apart rather quickly and i'm kind of disappointed with that but then again these are 28 dollars and maybe they were trying to go for that worn in look, even though glue lines are not really worn in. Glue lines are really bad quality. <laughs> but overall, I love this color. I think the colorway is stunning. I love the khaki color. And these laces, they're more true to the Golden Goose. They're very cool toned, and I think the color is very beautiful. I think these are stunning. Again, they're probably not gonna fit. Let me see. Yeah, I can slide them on, but they're very tight. My big toe is just gonna poke through right here. If they have half size, it'll go a half a size or even up to a full size. So looking at the two dupes next to each other, the scuff marks or the worn in look on the white pair is far better. It looks better, it's not too in your face. When you take this pair out, the khaki color, the scuff marks are bad. I mean, they look bad. They're just kind of scuffed all the way around and then they just stop right here where it just looks brand new and then you, they start right here again. It doesn't look natural. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. It looks very intentional. It doesn't look good. Where with this shoe, it looks better, especially like towards the back. It looks like you kind of have a little bit of worn in look, but then throughout, it looks like someone did it intentional, but it's not too drastic. Where with this one, it's kind of like, Ugh. and because you have the khaki color, you have the black star, you have the gray laces, and then you have the stark white rubber on the sides with the black on it. It just kind of, all of it is just too much in your face. And I don't think it looks as pretty as the white pair. So overall looking at this, like I said, these are only $30 and comparing them to the other dupe, these are phenomenal. Phenomenal for $30, they're beautiful. I like how they're made. Of course, they are very cheap compared to the Golden Goose, just the way they're formed. And then just looking at the little sides right here where it's supposed to be padded, on the Golden Goose, it starts out very slim and then goes into a more padded around your ankle to give you more support where this one is just kind of bulky and padded all the way around and it's not very slim. It doesn't have a nice flow to it. Just looking at overall the stitching, the, with the design, this shoe is beautiful. It looks like they took a lot of time and thought into designing this pair of shoe. Just the, all the little details, you really can see that it's beautiful quality. 
where this one, of course, it's only $30, it's a dupe. They're copying another item for far less of a price and not as much thought goes into a product like this. But then again, these are cute. And what do we even think of this style? Are we into the whole worn in type of look, kind of vintagey type of look? All right, so that completes the video. And I'm really happy that I actually found a really awesome dupe that's very inexpensive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of this trend. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I love you all very much. Bye.